Chelsea picked up their first win of this year's Champions League campaign with a 4-0 victory over Krasnodar. Hudson Adoy, Werner Zayech and Pulisic getting the goals in the game. Stevie Nick went in dark with us to reflect on this. I'll tell you what, Ian, it didn't feel like a 4-0 for much of the second half, did it? No, it really didn't. When it was 1-0, you were wondering whether Krasnodar were going to grab an equaliser. They put on a little bit of pressure and in the end, I think the scoreline did flatter Chelsea, but a 4-0 win away from home in the Champions League with Timo Werner getting his first Champions League goal for the club and Ziyech getting his first goal as well. Well, you can't argue with that. So they're handily placed now with four points out of six. Yeah, that's it, Steve. Isn't it? Job done. Three points. Get back to England. Yeah, listen, that's that's the oh, that was the object uh, when they arrived in Russia um, and they've done that. Uh, it looks comfortable on paper, as you said, it wasn't. So if you're going to look at it from a result point of view, then it was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to look from a performance point of view, then I guess it, it was the same old Chelsea. You know, Chelsea for me, I can't remember the last time they actually controlled a game because they just don't. They 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 try. And, I think they try and get the ball forward far too early. Uh, they don't have any real quality sort of build up they don't they don't change the tempo of the game it's all 100 miles an hour and when you play at 100 miles an hour you tend to give the ball away a lot and that's what Chelsea do uh, I think that's their biggest problem it's not that they don't have ability and it's not that they won't score goals and create chances uh, and even clean sheets they kept a clean sheet today um, but it's the way they go about it I think that's going to be the Achilles heel do you agree, Ian? Um, they've kept three clean sheets in a row now, one against Sevilla, one against Manchester United away, and this, for the first time, was the uh, the first time they've kept a clean sheet without Thiago Silva in the team. So they'll be encouraged by that, but I, I understand what Stevie is saying. I think they're very much a work in progress. He's still trying to get all those talents to gel. And um, one issue I can see is, is Kai Havertz has come into the side and he starts just about all the time. Mason Mount is a very similar kind of player, but a very talented one. So is there room for both of those two together? They did. They Mount came on tonight. Um, that's one of many things. I think Chilwell's settling in OK, but it all feels like Frank Lampard is, has got this star-studded cast and he's somehow trying to be the director of a great movie. And it isn't quite convincing yet. Pulisic coming off the bench, getting his first goal of the season. Stevie, what did you make of his cameo? Uh, listen, if you're a coach and you bring on a player and he's a forward player, the only thing you can ask him to do is put the ball in the back of the net. Mm. And he scored, so he gets 10 out of 10. You know, the fact that Zeit scored as well is great. It's great for Frank, but it also gives him a bit of a headache. He has got so many players going forward. You've got Hudson and Doyle that scored. Now, you could give, put that down as an own goal because the goalkeeper was absolutely embarrassing on it. But the fact is, is they're all scoring goals and, and there's only so many spots for so many players, which could be a problem because whilst, whilst you're winning games and everything seems OK, every single time you change the team, then it takes a little bit longer to get real cohesion. So, yes, it's great that, that Pulisic scored, um, but it also gives Frank a bit of a headache. But some always say, don't they, Stevie, it's a headache the managers want. Yes, um, that's true, and 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 I guess if you want a headache, it's it's who do you put on that you know is going to score and you know is going to create. I guess the headache or the biggest headache for Frank is what goes on behind that forward line, because that's where all the problems are. Uh, so yeah, a good headache to have, but it's only one of many that Frank has right now. He doesn't know his best team at all, does he, Ian, at the moment? Well, he's spoiled for choice, certainly in those forward positions. You remember last season, Olivier Giroud hardly got a kick of the ball until February. And then Frank Lampard suddenly decided, you know what? He's quite a useful player. I could make use of him. He came on. I think he scored five goals in his last six starts and became the number one striker in that number nine position. 
Again, this season, he's hardly getting a kick of the ball because Werner is the flavour of the month and they're having to adapt things to his particular style. I mean, he's a very, very fine player and he's going to get a stack of goals. But, you know, Giroud is another of those players. I, I worked it out. They've got eight players for those front four positions. So you could say it's a nice problem to have, but keeping everybody happy might be a problem for Frank. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.